Hey folks, Jimmy here, aka Palette of the Dead. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Warhammer news video. As per usual, if you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment down below. And without further ado, let's jump into it. You call them the Vendensed. For those of us that they've saved from the curse of the undead, we call them Salvation. So there we go. We already knew the Witch Hunters and the Order of Azir are a thing, of course, and we're getting a bit more of them. So, if you're not aware, of course, we already know that Jels and Derek from Warhammer Quest Curse City is a former member of the Order of Azir, kicked out because he's a bit too ruthless, and now we're getting a look at two new Witch Hunters, which are part of the Witch Hunting Order of Azir. These are the then densed family, very are father-daughter duo. Uh, first the father of course, Galen Vendensed, an uncompromising hero who can be joined who will join the ranks of the cities of Sigmar in the near future. So he is a veteran witch hunter and has seen hundreds of witches, heretics and living dead burnt at the stake during his illustrious career. Armed with a holy pistol and his trusty rune etched broadsword, Galen Vendensed can slay the vilest creatures and even banish endless spells with a determined strike from his blessed weapons. He may be a bit long in the tooth, but make no mistake, nothing gets between this grim huntsman and his quarry. So, pretty cool looking unit uh, and a new model. Um, looks actually fantastic and looks, from the looks of it, has two builds that can be done with him so you can have him holding the pistol in one hand in his right hand or you can have it in his left hand if you have it in his left hand he can't be holding the torch but he will be holding a sword instead so two options for this guy which is brilliant news and looks really really fantastic but of course this is a father daughter combo so let's check out the daughter the daughter is Doralia Vendensed who is a fellow witch hunter and equally looks pretty cool holding that massive crossbow having that massive broadsword on the back a short sword and then the uh, good old quarrels as well for the crossbow itself not only that but she also has a secondary build option she can be wearing the famed hat of a witch hunter which looks fantastic so I'm I'm quite shocked by this uh, these look really really cool um, with Doralia she hunts primarily with her enormous crossbow it's consecrated bolts hit with murderous power and Doralia is rightly feared for her in earring accuracy with her weapon of choice so she is pretty cool as well um, they will be coming at some point in the near future um, and they look pretty damn cool as well. Two two build qualities, two different builds. Um, personally, I probably will pick these up when they come out because these look amazing. These look really, really cool. Um, in fact, I might try and pick up two of each because I'd want to do both builds and have both, uh, both different kind of versions which make it look even better as well, depending on how you want them to look and be utilized. Now, of course, that's not only the, the only little bit of Warhammer news today. Of course, there is the Sunday preview of that happened yesterday and the Warhammer Underworlds warband of Prince Duval and his Crimson Court of Soulblight Vampires will be descending into Diachasm as of next week. Now, um, I think this is a little bit faster than I would have expected for it. I thought this Warhammer warband... Uh, for the Underworlds would have been coming out in a little bit later uh, probably be around about to mid end of a month um, but you know if this is really good timing because we may have I really really want to get my hands on some Soulblight Vampires and these look pretty cool 
So definitely worth picking up uh, this merciless warband of hunters that have a bespoke bloodlust mechanic as well. Um, so they play very, very differently um, and could be very, very good fun to use if you play Warhammer Underworlds or if you're going to incorporate them later on into the Soul Blight Grave Lords armies and stuff like that when they come out as well a little bit later on. Um, some very, very good stuff. Very, very nice. Warhammer are really, really knocking it out of the park at the moment with their releases. Um, I mean, Warhammer Quest, fantastic success for them. Um, frustrating that nobody can get hold of it. It's a pain in the ass to get hold of for a lot of people. But a fantastic success. This Warband looks really, really cool. I must admit, I'm going to be ordering this myself um, because it looks fantastic. And... Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff and now with these witch hunters as well some really really good good bits and pieces coming for the future of Warhammer as well and I can't wait to get the rest of the Grave Lords when they do come out they should be really really good fun and uh, very nice to paint very different as well which will be good right that's it from me just a quick short one today and um, I will catch you all in the very near future bye bye now